Shazam, I got a special one for you today. I am headed tomorrow to Thunder Ranch, and every year y'all ask me, what am I taking and why? So I'm going to show you my loadout. What am I taking to Thunder Ranch? I'm taking this beast. I'm going to walk you through a few things. Question of the day, what do I say today that gets you thinking? Is it a direction that you may want to head yourself, or is there something you want to do different? What do you disagree with? I got a bonus for you. Stay with me. In the floor right there is my son's rifle. It's going to surprise you what it is and the way he's got his sit up. Should be fun. Two different loadouts today headed to Thunder Ranch tomorrow. Should be fun. Buckle up. Here we go. Today's episode is brought to you by these folks. Of course, I'm taking a CMMG Banshee with me. This is what I chose when I went over to their website. I picked out my color. I picked out my caliber, 556. And this is the Midnight Bronze. I love it. Now, this is different than my peanut butter one that y'all see regularly. That's my night vision setup. It's got more stuff out front. But I chose CMMG. It's a Banshee. It's small. I like it. All right. A few things going into this. I am going to use really low-profile magazine holder. This is from Moonlight Industries. I don't recommend dealing with Moonlight because their customer service... Uh, it, this took me 10 months to get, so, but I love it. I, I love their stuff, but I did a video about that one time, but it's very low profile. Have less up here than more for a class like this. Some guys will be in full kit with full plates. Train like you fight. Uh, have you laid on a plate carrier for six hours straight? Nah, I'm not doing that. And then a lot of guys, including me, will just have a simple, some days I may just have one mag on my side in my back pocket. I'll just have them in my back pocket. Pair of gloves. I have tried every ear pro on the market, just a lot of them. Holy smokes. I've had the, the nice Bluetooth ones, and I've had, I've had a lot of them. I, I keep coming back to the Howard Light Impact. Howard Light Impact with fresh batteries, and that's good for me. Before we get to the rifle, the last thing is I've got one of these. I always, I don't know if you can see that in there. I'll take a video of it. But this is a fix-it kit. I've got everything that I need in there. I can do a lot of basic surgery. And then to that, I've added, I don't know what that little, that little end's called. In my old man eyes, I can't see, but it's a star drive. And I've got a good driver in there and a good knife. I'll put a link to this thing down below, and you can find it for yourself. I carry it everywhere I go. That's not a commercial. The Banshee, Dead Air Sandman up front. It's got the QD mount, so this one can rock on and off. I'm taking two different rifles. One is a backup but this thing can just run right onto a different rifle, no problem. Backup iron sights, I've got the Magpul, just like y'all do, and I hope they're not installed backwards <laughs> like a lot of folks do. I got the aim point duty on here, just because I know it's rock solid. Uh, this rifle will be abused in the next week, and I know that this thing is rock solid. Fresh battery, and I'm taking another battery with me. It doesn't need it, but a uh, fresh battery, and I always use lithium. This, of course, has got a brace on the back. The only thing else I've really done to it, I've added in some uh, anti-walk pins, and I don't know really for a reason, just they're so easy to install. I always put them on any rifle that's important. It's not just a range gun, but it's something I'm training with. I'm going to put anti-walk on here. I also changed out the grip here. I tried to get those Magpul grippy grippers, but I got the rubber one. I don't really like the rubbery one, but it's what's on there. They feel great with gloves, but on my hand, I don't really like it. Magazines. I have five magazines for this rifle that I know work with this rifle. They're all mag pulls. I don't do anything else. When I train, I'm just at the farm rolling and rocking. I use everything. But to go out for a trip like this with all the time and the expense, I'm going to use the five that I know. And my son now has five for his rifle. They're dedicated for that rifle. And that's what we use. Of course, I can grab anything else in rock and roll. That's fine. But that's what I use for this. I've got five dedicated ones. They're all marked with my name on there. That's how I got mine set up. The trigger on here, of course, is a, I don't know, I don't know what trigger is in this. I change the trigger in every rifle I get. This is not the CMMG trigger. This is a drop-in. I think it's an S, SB, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, to, I could open it up and look at it. Let me look at it. Okay, I looked at it. I'm 94% sure that's a Geisley trigger. I don't know. I put it in last summer. You can also see I don't have a charging handle on here. I have the bolt carrier group soaking at the house. So I've got the bolt carrier group, CMMG, but then I have a Radiant Arms charging handle. I like mixing things up and trying different things. That's what I've done to mine. You are now up to date with my uh, rifle that I didn't realize was incomplete until just now. The Banshee. I'm excited. This is my choice. All right, got a bonus for you. This is my son's rifle that he's taking to Oregon tomorrow with me. This is the Geisley Super Duty. Y'all are already seeing that. You know what this rifle is. Up front, he's got the Surefire Warden. This is a linear comp. It's a QD on and QD off, and it just gets the nonsense downrange. Gets the gas downrange. Gets a lot of the noise downrange. It's not a suppressor, but it's suppressor adjacent, 
and the people to your left and right will thank you. I have run one of these many, many times. It's a fantastic linear comp if you can find them. They're hard to find. Geisley Super Duty, up front and in the back. Which are the uh, the Magpul backup iron sights that are actually made out of metal? I forget which one. They're slimmer and, and more narrow than mine, but whichever ones these are, it's the metal ones. He's got the EOTech up front, and uh, he did a lot of research online with uh, Grand Thumb, Admin Results, Tactical Considerations Mike, Mr. Guns and Gear, and just watching everybody's stuff. And he went with this, thought it'd be a fun one to try out. Now, one thing I didn't mention with my rifle is how do we get our slings attached? I'm running a flatline fiber sling, and I use these cutie mounts exclusively. He is the same thing that I have up front, M-Lock, and then we're using, I'll put a video in here, but I use these BCM cutie mount adapters. They go onto the M-Lock, and I just rock those on there. All of my rifles have those on there. And then I think he's using the same thing, if I can feel it by Braille. Yeah, he's, he's going directly, same as me into his brace with the back of his, with the back of his uh, rifle strap. I'm using, again, the Flatline Fiber. He is using the uh, Warrior Poet, the stretchy one. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, he has, of course, a Geisley trigger in here, and then he added in a new charging handle. He's using the Radiant Arm, same one that I'm using. And I tell you, here's what's funny is uh, Jack at Thunder Ranch, he, he gets to test more equipment than the military. He he's, has a new group of students come in every week. They beat the H out of their stuff, and he gets to see what breaks. He does not like the Geisley charging handles at all. And so he's got me to switch over to uh, the Radiant, Radiant Arms. He didn't like them. And uh, I need an Ambi because I fire from both shoulders. Y'all have seen that. A lot of y'all think I'm left-handed. I'm not. I'm Ambi on rifles. And uh, so I've switched over to Radiant also. So this is my son's setup. He's got the, uh, the same Geisley, that grippy, grippy Geisley on here. Uh, I think it's a cool rifle. I really do. I think it's great. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. That's our setups. Final thought for the day. This is not a commercial. Every, everybody, I talked to a bunch of y'all in Knoxville and then again in Ohio last week, and a bunch of y'all have said, God, I've got to get out there. I've just got to get out there. Put it on the calendar. That's what I did uh, in 2017 or 2018, 2018, I think. I wrote it down on a calendar and I said, I'm going. And I went in 2019. I put it on the calendar one year in advance. And I've now, this is going to be my seventh trip. And people are like, Johnny, you're so lucky. Uh, yeah, blessed, big time blessed. But I also, I put it on the calendar a long way in advance and then I make myself go and I buy the tickets and I do it. I want to challenge you, if you have any desire to train out there and to, and to train with Jack and to train with Clint Smith, get yourself out there. The staff is amazing, and uh, it's, a, it's a trip. Holler at me. I will walk you through how to do this trip. It's, it's super doable. It is a commitment of time and energy and sweat and money, and it is. And it's worth, oh, my gosh, it is worth every minute of it. I'm excited about it. That's my loadout. What did I get wrong? What did I get right? Let me know right down below. See you all soon. Bye. This gun fits my hand better than this one does. Diabetes.